At E3 2019, we were given the opportunity to interview the executive producer of CI Games' new Project Awakening, which is an action role-playing game that was announced at E3 last year, but they haven't shown anything since. During our interview, we asked as many questions as we could to get as much information about this enigma of a game that really hasn't seen any promotion or publication in the last year. This video is essentially going to be a recap of that information from that interview, so you guys have an idea of what to expect with the game. We'll start with the biggest thing first, which is that it's going to be an action role-playing game that's open world, and it's going to be cooperative multiplayer. Just exactly how many people can play multiplayer is still up in the air, but they're looking to do somewhere between 4 or 12, somewhere in that range. They'd do more if they could, they said, um, but they're going to try and get the maximum number of players in co-op that they can have. So players will go around the map, which is about the size of Skyrim, fighting monsters and enemies and gaining loot, etc. And there will be a class-based system. They didn't extrapolate on exactly what that's going to look like, but they did say the progression of the character is going to be a bit different than traditional MMOs or regular RPGs. I don't know if it's MMO is the right word. But it's not going to be you level up, you put points here. It's going to be more like Oblivion or something like that, where if you're using a greatsword, then your arm muscles get bigger in, uh, in order to compensate for using a greatsword. So it's going to be a bit more unique, and it's definitely interesting, and I, I can't wait to see more about that feature. They did say that the game is going to feature a balance between storytelling and action, so it's not going to be really heavy storytelling or, or just action. They're going to try and balance it somewhere in the middle so that both things play an important role. When asked about the inspirations for the game, uh, high fantasy was what they replied with Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones being really the two things that came to mind. So I don't know if there's going to be a magic system or firearms. This is something we asked, uh, and they mentioned that these were still up for debate and may be placed into the game later. When asked for a release window for the game, not much specifics were given. They did say that they didn't plan to reveal any more about the game until probably next year which gives me the impression that the game is likely going to launch on next gen. Uh, this was not said specifically by them, but that's the impression I got. And they're also trying to launch on as many consoles as possible, uh, many platforms as possible. They didn't specify exactly which ones, so we're not sure. But they did say they wanted this to be their breakout game on console. So I imagine we may see maybe a late lo launch on like PS4, Xbox One, and then a, a another launch on the next gen, or we may just see a launch on the next gen. As mentioned before, the game's going to have a heavy focus on co-op, and players are going to have to put their parties together to fight certain monsters, and certain characters or roles may be better for those fights. So players are going to be encouraged to mix and match parties and split up and join other parties and play with different players. It's not going to just be make your one party and go around and do the whole game with that one party. When asked what the gameplay would be like, Games stated that it would be very similar to what you see in the trailer. There's going to be these big monsters that players fight. It's not like Monster Hunter World. They never said Monster Hunter World. They give the sense that you're going to be grouping up against tough enemies and you're going to be taking down these big monsters together and that there probably will be some smaller enemies involved as well. Maybe something like Dragon's Dogma is the impression that I got. So if you can picture something kind of like Dragon's Dogma with a cooperative element to it, I think that's kind of what we're going to get. That was never specifically stated, but that's just the general sense I got from talking to the developers. And last but not least, just a simple thing is that the game is not actually going to be called Project Awakening. That's just a placeholder and that the official name of the game will be announced closer to the launch of the game. After our interview with Sai Games, we asked if we could meet up with them at Tokyo Game Show as they're a Japanese development company, uh, and they said we could. So hopefully we'll get some more information around TGS in September, late September, but I'm not exactly sure how much they'll be able to reveal, but I promise we will get as much information as we can.